Guys, welcome to a new video on Gran Turismo 7. I'm Splasher Window, also Shane. Uh, we're here today at Mount Panorama Bathurst doing uh, some hot laps and uh, a bit of a guidance tool for those who are wanting to find more time around here. As you can see, I've done two laps in the same car, one at a 206 that was earlier this afternoon with uh, racing hard tyres on, and one up top, a 201011 uh, with racing soft. So this track, sorry, this video will just be a little bit of a guidance tool for all you guys that are just wanting to find that extra bit of time braking zones, what trail braking is, coasting, all that fun stuff as well. As you can see, racing soft tyres, I haven't done a damn thing to this. It is available for me, but I'm not touching any of it. It is the stock standard, very stock standard car. Um, and as you can see, there's just nothing here that I've changed. Everything's on default. So what we'll do guys, we'll get straight into uh, a bit of talking first off about the lap itself. So Mount Panorama Bathurst, located in New South Wales, Australia, uh, is a very demanding racetrack. Um, for those who have never been or have never heard of this track, it is absolutely iconic for Australian motor racing. And it's an absolute exhilarating spot. Um, exhilarating race, sorry. Uh, for both the 12 hour and the Bathurst 1000 which is done by the V8 supercars each year in October so at the moment I'm just going to get a bit of a bank lap in uh, just three quarter throttle around the whole track just a bit of a talk this is turn two up at Griffith's Bend and the elevation change here guys if you've never walked the track or if you've never actually been here even in a car actually you'll never actually really feel the elevation change until you actually walk it. This is the cutting, turns three and four, up to turn five now. We're still climbing up the hill too, mind you. Turn six, heading into Solomon and Reed Park. Seven, and then eight, the grate there on the left, right, sorry, nine, and then probably the fastest part of the circuit, Philomy Park, turn 10, which is where I used to camp for 15 years. Going down the hill now, 11, 12, turn 13, and then the iconic dipper at turn 14. Coming out of the dipper at 15, 16, 17, and then down the hill for Forest Elbow for turn 18. Conrod straight, turn 19. very fast full throttle for about 15 seconds to get a bit of a rest and 20 into the chase turn 21 22 and then coming up to the final turn at, at Murray's corner at turn 23 so here we go guys we're gonna give you a bit of a rundown Having a good exit out of the last corner is crucial for your lap. Up to fourth now. It will over rev in fifth at some point, but break just under the 100 meter board there. Turn it in nice and easy on the accelerator. Very quick out of turn one at hell corner. Up the hill now. Going up mountain straight. Hit fifth gear. Now, depending on who you are and the gear ratio that you've got it on, you can hit sixth gear. I'm not going to do that. Driveway on the left, down the third gear. Turn it in nice and early. Back on the back on the power now. Up to the cutting, up to fourth. Then down the third just before the corner. And then into second for the cutting itself. Oh, we're going a little wide there. Now usually short shift to third here. Do you see a big tree on the left hand side up to fourth. Off the throttle, just that slight. Turn it in there for that corner. I'm going to purposely use 5th here because of the car not properly tuned. Down to 4th now for McPhillamy. Up to 5th now. I'd usually hit 5th at that point. Down to 2nd into the dipper. Just a little dab at the brakes there and then full power. Once you get that car square you're on the power. 
plant your foot down to second now into forest elbow glide the car all the way out to the wall and then have a bit of a rest for about 15 seconds or so up to sixth now what some people might not realize here is there's a little kink just into the left here you can overtake that line to give you a better run into the chase as you can see a little square up for the turn there in the third sometimes you can short shift to fourth if you're finding your wheel spin just to give you that better traction out of the corner up to fifth now and then a 100 meter board down the second gear all right let's do that again bit of a fun fast track two minutes three not bad on the throttle early car's gonna dance its way through turn one it is a very struggle street corner but if you can nail it out of there you're in for a somewhat really good lap down to third now Ooh, a bit of action happening there at turn two just a little loose Uh, just a slight bit of understeer up to third now short shift take it all the way out to the wall up to fourth now underneath the tree some more understeer there I could probably leave it in fifth actually down the second Ended a dip uh, full throttle now out of there. It wasn't really full, I could feel it. I want to ride the walls as close as you possibly can. I am on a wheel too, guys, so let's keep that in mind, hence for the reason for the very quick reaction times. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sort of shut up. I'm going to let you enjoy the sound and um, hopefully I can pull out a good lap for you see so is can see the potential of what you could possibly do around here at Mount Panorama it is a very unforgiving race there's no room for error there's errors you can just crash at any point but to get a perfect lap around here is extremely hard and I'm, that's what I'm going to try and do now so guys sit back and enjoy a lap around Bathurst Oh, there you go guys, that's a pretty solid lap actually by me. Um, 
a 20186. So not bad at all. There were uh, a couple of times where I had to re-debit the throttle. Um, but that was fun. I enjoyed that. And I hope you guys did too. Um, one thing that I will suggest is uh, if you know the sound of the and the rev of the car and you can sort of picture where you are on the track when you actually re-watch this just try and keep an eye if you want on the throttle position and the brake percentage as well uh, that will also guide you with uh, trail braking and how hard to accelerate in and out of corners and whatever else so especially like through here you want to be like ease on the throttle and like even through here you can just lift you don't have to touch the brakes at all uh, some corners may require that like that section right there just a little dab at the brake and just a lift and then back on the accelerator straight away so it's there's always room for improvement and it's always fun to do a lap around here and if you feel like it's gone quick then you're doing a good job. The trail braking there into Forest Elbow, not not planning it down too far. What I will do is demonstrate what it's like to not trail brake and just have your foot on the floor uh, for the brakes heading into the chase. So at the moment we're obviously at full throttle. Uh, we'll hit this kink here. And we'll break it to 150, just past 150. Now, without trail braking, and the steer, the rear end pops out, and it just doesn't feel right. Where if you were to trail brake, say into this corner, you see how the fr uh, the brake percentage had lifted off, and it just sort of eased down. That's what trail braking and all that is. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, it was fun doing it. The celebration for the fans in the main straight. Alrighty guys, well thank you very much uh, for tuning in and watching the video. Uh, if you liked it, please smash that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike, I don't mind. Uh, comment down if you want to see another racetrack uh, and another guidance video around on what track and that's my wheel being a spastic. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, so leave a comment down on a track that you'd want to see. It will be in this car here. <laughs> the Ford Mustang GR3 car. Uh, this thing's an absolute beast. So I'll do the guidance tracks around with this. But yes, make sure you leave a comment on what track you want to see next. Could be any of them. Make sure you just know what track uh, you want done on Gran Turismo 7 and if you don't have Gran Turismo 7 or you want to know some of the tracks on Gran Turismo 7 just google it <laughs> just google it and uh, comment down on what track you want to see me do next and guys thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video